Welcome back. You are watching The Four, and we are discussing youth participation in politics in Nigeria. Now, I'd like to um, get members of the public involved, but before I do, I'd like to share a few statistics with you. Um, we did a little bit of work, and the average age of party leaders and executive uh, leaders in Nigerian political parties is 56. That's older than even me, <laughs> right? Um, the average age of executive council members, which are, these are people who are sort of governing us, our ministers, is also 56. Um, should we be worried about the fact that we've got people who are almost 60 running us, or is neither here nor there? Yes. Okay. Um, so your I, name, please. My name is Dixon Namdi Rebu. I am a filmmaker by profession, and um, I anchor Nigeria right now on a sister nation, uh, station. Um, I just crossed the youth age. I'm 40. I, I joined the 40 gang uh, December 8 last year. So... But I know the experience I had as a youth. Now, I'm not limited anymore, so I'm not angling for not too young to run. If I want to run for president, I can now. It's empowered by law. So but you're saying youth, it's not personal interest that's driving your view? No, it's not, it's not right. personal okay, interest I understand, at all. Yeah. The youth need to realize, one, that if you see a mess and you want to clean it up, you don't stay outside. You join that particular environment and push it out. But if you stay outside, all you do is just identify the mess and identify the mess. The Nigerian youth need to get involved in politics. The talk is cheap. Our leaders may not have led us well, but we have a group of other younger people okay. looking up to us today to lead. So a There's, practical question. In, yes. in your mind, what does getting involved in politics actually mean? Join the political parties. Be a, a participant, card okay. a card carry member of these political parties. There won't be angels from heaven that will come and fix, fix Nigeria. The constitution only recognizes for now that you would come to power through a political party. Okay. So join the political parties like you're going to church or going to mosque. Okay. That is because the most important religion that the youth need to hold on to right now in this nation it's Nigeria itself. Okay, so, so get into the political parties. Okay, That's so the challenge. There are three people. The gentleman on my right, yeah, two, which is, I think, to your left. Yes, sir. Good evening, all. My name is Abdul Oga. I'm the campaign DG of the Mugaro Campaign Organization. Uh, actually, I just want to comment on uh, like the competency uh, Kadiria stated earlier. You see, I personally believe that leadership in entrepreneurship is much more difficult than leadership in politics. And we have so many youths that have achieved a lot in entrepreneurship. Like for example, at the Mugaro set up a company at the age of 26, and in nine years, IPI solution became the best in Microsoft Cloud in 17 okay, African we, countries. That, we, yeah, and then yeah. he became a licensed member of the European Business Okay, we, we needed to really just talk about, we're not here yeah. to discuss sort of yes. individual So what I'm people. saying in a sense is that there are so many youths that, that have achieved a lot. So you can imagine the kind of, you know, commitment and leadership qualities involved, you know, to move a company from ground zero, you know, to a greater height. So the issue of competency should not be an issue of discussion. Thank okay, Buki, I'd like to, to bring you in here before I go back quickly to the audience. Well, he talked there very interestingly about the fact that it would appear that the, the quality uh, of the politicians we have is so low and the competencies required for entrepreneurship, for running private businesses are, are much higher. Um, that is significant and it's true, isn't it? So when we talk about quality, like Samson pointed out, it's not really that... We're, it's just young people that, you know, competency, even the, the, the older people who seem to be involved in politics seem to have issues. I, I totally agree with you because we've started conversing on 2019 since, you know, more than a year ago. And who are the people we are talking about? We are talking about Atiku Buari, we are talking about Kwok and so and all of those older people. We are not talking about Samson, Wiltimi, Amzat, or any young person, because we don't think that they have the kind of quality that he mentioned, or they have the kind of space that they should have in order to be able to participate. So I totally agree with him that we have quality young people in Nigeria. The challenge is these quality young people are actually not in politics, which ties to what he talks do, about. Do, do, uh, do we have competencies in, in, in entrepreneurship and in um, 
private sector businesses, that can automatically translate into competencies I, I, in I politics. And I'd like automatic. both of you to actually, all of you to answer that. I won't use the word, just quickly, I won't use the word automatic. Yes, we have quality young people in entrepreneurship. We have certain quality young people also in politics. But let me say quickly that quality um, or your competence becomes zero if you are not particip participating in the, in the right kind of space, which may lead us to another conversation entirely. In terms of where does participation come in? Is participation online? Is participation just joining political parties? We need to take participation to the local level, to the grassroots level. I'm from Oshun State. If I want to do anything right now, I have to go to the local level. When was the last time I went there? It, when was the last time I even considered going there to do anything? So I think we need to also begin to align the kind of goals that we have to the kind of goals that young people have at the local level. Those people are the ones that vote the most, not those of us online, not those of us, you know, saying save Baba or something. Those are those save Baba people who are in the grassroots, and that is where we need to be participating. And that's an important quality. point, isn't it? Because we also have different strata of young people. Yes. The, the sort of Twitter generation Aggregated. versus those who are actually what you might call... WhatsApp. The yes. um, it, it, it's funny, uh, there's a new campaign, Participate, that's going around, and uh, just a bunch of people, I see most of them on TV now, um, who got together and said, look, we realize the problems we have is that we don't have enough young people participating in politics. Uh, the Not Too Young to Run Bill is a beautiful, wonderful bill. The problem it will have is that there's an old structure on ground that is very difficult to penetrate. Mm -hmm very extremely difficult to penetrate you have to go to primaries um he he, he mentioned that we tried to uh, during the constitution review we proposed the creation of the youth wing we followed it up until the last convention on the 9th of december when they went to the neck because we didn't have anybody at neck any young person we didn't have the numbers at neck we couldn't push through the creation of the youth wing it was just thrown away in fact it wasn't even on the memo to neck that is how difficult it is to get issues of young people within parties to scale through and, and, and go through the process. So saying here now that uh, the Not Too Young to Run bill is a good bill, yes it is, but how do you integrate it at the grassroots level? Remember, all politics is local. Okay, so that we're, 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 we will discuss the numbers issue and sort of what you need to do to sort of get a momentum of sort of young participation. But I'd like to um, get to the audience because, okay, so there's a gentleman in red, then the gentleman in white, and then we move this way. I'm going to try and get as many of you as in as possible, I promise. But please try and be short for that to happen. I will. Thank you. My name is Shield. I'm actually um, the coordinator of PDP Good Governance Group, and I head a civil society group also. Um, 